Hey everybody, uh, here we're determining slope and the y-intercept of lines. Okay, so um, there's our common core strand for our teachers, and how can we determine the slope and the y-intercept? So we'll do this through a few ways here on this lesson. So the graph of every non-vertical line just means a vertical line is up straight up and down. It crosses the y-axis, so as long as it's not an up and down line or the vertical line, um, then it crosses the y-axis somewhere. Okay, and the y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the graph intersects that y-axis. So that's an important part of our equation and our graph right here. And the x-coordinate uh, of where it crosses the y-axis at the y-intercept is always x equals zero. I'm going to use that knowledge in, in this example, for example. So here, this graph represents a linear equation. y equals negative two-thirds x plus four. Let me slide that up right there. All right, so let's find the slope um, using the points 0, 4, and negative 3, 6, okay? So I'm guessing this is going to be x1, y1, this is going to be x2, y2, and remember our slope formula. The x's go on bottom because the x's have two legs to them, and they'll hold the y's up better. That's how I remember which one's on bottom and which one's on top. So it's going to be... <clears throat> the second y minus the first y over the second x minus the first x. So this is the second y is 6, the uh, first y is 4, and then on the bottom the second x minus the first x. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, 6 minus 4 is 2, negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. Typically we do not leave the negative in the bottom. We always put it out in front of the fraction. And check this out, you guys. It's the exact same as this y equals mx plus b. This is my slope right here. Okay, all right, so now they want to find uh, the value of y when x equals 0 in that equation. So I'm going to plug in x equals 0 right here. So y equals negative 2 thirds times 0 plus 4. Anything times 0 is 0, so 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay, now check that out. That's the y intercept. That's always when x equals 0. That plus b right there, y equals mx plus b. We'll talk more about that in a minute. So that point 0, 4 is where the line intersects the y-axis. That's called our y-intercept right there. So the linear equation below, uh, right here, this equation right here, y equals mx plus b, is, is in slope-intercept form. And the reason why it's named the slope-intercept form is because if it's y equals something x plus a number, then the number in front of the x's are always our slope, and the number in front of the y, I'm sorry, the, the leftover numbers are is our y-intercept. This is when x equals zero, by the way. So, so a linear relationship has a constant rate of change, which is our slope. It's that blue m. And we can find the rate of change in, and the initial value of b for a, a linear situation from a table of values. So here's an example. A, pho, a phone salesperson is paid a minimum weekly salary and a commission for each pho, uh, phone that they sell, as shown in this table right here. So confirm that this relationship is linear. So we're going to make sure it has a constant rate of change. And then we're going to find the initial value. The initial value is always um, uh, when uh, this is my initial value right here when x equals 0. So we're going to make it x equals 0 right here. Now, so let's uh, use slope formula right here. Now, confirm that the rate of change is constant. So our good old slope formula is right here. And whenever you're given a table, the first column is always the x's and the second column is always the y's. So we're going to use the slope formula with this x, y, and this x, y. So this would be like x1, y1. This would be x2, y2, and so on right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll do that with several of them right there. So, so here I did um, uh, 630 minus 480 over 20 minus 10. Okay, so 630 minus 480 is 150. So 150 over 10 is 15. Let's do it with the second pair. So we're going to do this y minus this y over this x minus this x. Okay, we're going to make sure that it's constant. 780 minus 630 is 150. 150 over 10 is still 15. 
Okay, let's do it with the last pair and show that it is also 15. So, so um, we did confirm that the rate of change is constant by finding that the slopes were all equivalent of 15 right there. So the constant rate of change is 15. All right, let's clean this up. I'm getting down at the bottom. <clears throat> and so the constant rate of change, excuse me, guys, is always our slope. That's our m in y equals mx plus b. So now we know y equals 15x plus b. To get B, you guys, so the, the salesperson is, is receiving $15 commission. So for each phone sold, they get 15 bucks. So to get the initial salary, which without any commission, we got to let X equal zero. So let's go ahead and find the initial value, or B, um, uh, which is uh, when X equals zero. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is rearrange this into a table. Let this X column be a top row and let this Y column be a bottom row right there, okay? It's just easier. So let's work backwards to find X, okay? So as we go backwards from 40 to 30, it goes down by 10. It goes down by 10. It goes down by 10. So we want to know when X equals 0. So we're going to keep going down by 10. And then what's happening here? This is going down by <clears throat> 150, 150, 150. So we're going to subtract 150 and we're going to find out the initial value that that salesperson makes without any commission. Okay, so if we subtract um, uh, 10 minus 10 gets us that zero right there. So 480 minus 150 gets us 330 right there. Okay, so the initial value is $330 and that means that the salesperson receives the salary of $330 before they start getting the commission right there. Okay, all right, so let's find the slope and the y-intercept of, of these lines. Now, they're telling us they're lines, so we just got to pick two ordered pairs, you guys. So remember, this is always my x row, and this is always my y row. If it's written <coughs> in columns, then the first column is x, and the second column is y. Okay, so uh, I'm going to choose the smaller numbers. That's easier. So this will be Y2, Y1, X2, X1 over here. I can pick any pair. They told me it's a line, so I know it's going to be constant. I could pick this Y minus this Y, as long as I do this X minus this X. I can even go this Y minus this Y way over here, as long as I do this X minus this X. I like the smaller number, so I'm going to do that with that, uh, those guys and those guys right there. Okay, so our slope formula, 32 minus 22 is 10, 4 minus 2 is uh, 2, so 10 over 2 is 5. So there's the slope of that guy over here. Um, oh, I got 18. It should be 15. I'm sorry. So it's 15 minus 8. My little dyslexia uh, kicked in. 15 minus 8 uh, over 2 minus 1. So 15 minus 8 is 7, and then um, uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, so the slope of this guy is 1. So so to get, sorry, I've got to keep doing this. I, you guys know that's a 15. I'm not going to worry about that. So to get the y-intercept, which is our b, we're going to work backwards on each table. Okay. So notice these x's are going down by 2, down by 2, down by 2. So I want to find when x equals 0, so I'm going to go down by 2 and that'll get me x equals 0. What's happening with the y's? The y's are going down by 10, down by 10, down by 10. So I'm going to go uh, 22 minus 10. Over here, the x's are going down by 1, down by 1, down by 1. Now it's not the same as this, but it's consistent, so it's constant rate of change. Okay, and then so this is going down by 7, down by 7, down by 7. So if I go 8 minus 7, that'll get me when x equals 0, will get me the b right there. Okay, so over here, if I just kept subtracting right here, so 2 minus 2 gets me x equals 0, so 22 minus 10 gets me 12. So this is b. So this is my y intercept right here. Okay, over here. 1 minus 1 is 0. That's what I want. And so 8 minus 7 gets me 1 right there. So that is B on this guy right there. So the slope for 1 is 5 and the y-intercept is 12. And number 2, the slope for um, uh, 2 is 7 and the y-intercept is 1 right there. Okay. So recall the slope-intercept form of an equation is always y equals mx plus b. So over here I just plugged m equals 5 right here and plugged in plus 12 right here. Over here, m equals 7 and b equals 1, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and take care.